What's up? It's Jackson. Welcome to my fantasy football V blog. So I know fantasy football has been over for over a month now, but tonight is a special night. I'm pumped about tonight because tonight is my work fantasy football party. So every year we take a portion of our league fees and then a dollar per player ad and we throw it into a pot that we use for an end of season party that goes towards an open tab for drinks and food and we have a blast with this. So this is actually probably the reason a couple of these guys are even in the league to enjoy tonight. And the big thing about tonight is the season's been over for over a month. We don't care. We still talk about our teams. We still talk about matchups and we still talk about the winners and the losers. And tonight I get to talk about my championship victory and show off my brand new bad boy belt so i got my fantasy football belt here this thing is legit it's made of leather it's got these cool plates i can pop off and get engraved and this is new for this year because i bought it with my league winnings and the guys don't even know i'm bringing it tonight so it's gonna be a, a cool thing to walk in there rocking this belt and get the haters hating on me and these guys probably trying this bad boy on and loving it and I, I can't wait i'm super pumped about this this belt here so this is my belt i plan on keeping it for myself but there's a possibility these guys are going to try to talk me into letting this thing roll as a as a championship uh, thing every year for the party because it is a really cool thing to have. So I'll, I'll think about it here for them. But uh, to go along with this belt, our league has a traveling trophy. So uh, I started with the, the company I'm working for back in 2011. Wasn't running the league yet then. They didn't have trophies. So 2012, I took over the league and I started the trophy process. So we, uh, we were rolling it since. I started out really good in the league. Now, I didn't win that first year, but 2013, 2014, I went back to back with championships. I was really pumped. I thought I was dominating this league, but these guys, they just, they got better. So they are competitive like me and they wanted to make sure that they didn't let me win this league. So uh, they got good and I lost three years in a row. So I've been on a dry spell, but guess what? I'm back 2018, I'm the champion, yeah. So. This trophy I get to hold on to for a year. We also got these traveling or uh, these personal trophies. So not only do you get the the traveling trophy for the year, but you get to keep this personal trophy for yourself forever for being the champion. So this is my 2018 version. I get to keep this. I'm displaying these in my man cave. I got my 2013-2014 championships here. So I'm really pumped to be back on top in this league because I got a whole year of talking crap. And tonight, even though it's been a month since the season's been over. We're going to still be talking about matchups, that championship game, the losers, and the toilet bowl trophy winner, which actually really isn't a winner because that is for last place in the league. So you get last place, you're going to be the proud owner of this bronze toilet bowl, and you're going to be displaying it at work. So you're going to be embarrassed for an entire year that you lost the work league. And in addition to that, you are going to have to wear this cool shirt at the party so the I suck the fantasy football pink unicorn shirt is gonna be worn by the loser all night long and in addition to that on draft day the loser has to wear that shirt so it's pretty embarrassing and you do not want to end up in that situation I don't ever plan on being in that situation because I make the playoffs every year and I like to win this championship and I plan on doing it again next year so in addition what I got in front of me here is I wanted to share my fantasy football season. So I was in five leagues this year. I won three of them. That's cool. I was so pumped. One of the leagues was pretty wild league I got involved in. Uh, it's my second year in it. There are 48 teams in this league. There's four divisions of 12. They bracket the, there's two leagues on one side, two on the other. And you have uh, four teams out of the 12. We'll get into that playoffs. And they play other teams from other leagues, you can go up against teams that have same players as you, and there's a lot of strategy goes into it. So I ended up in fifth place in that league. Out of 48, it's not bad. I wish I would have won it. I, was, I felt really good about my team, and then I got knocked out. But it was still a pretty decent payoff for fifth place, so maybe next year I'll win that. But the other leagues I won, so my brother-in-law, Scott, thank you for letting me join your league. He you needed an extra player come draft time. I was available. I got in. Guess what? I won his league. Sorry, bro. I know all your boys back in Cleveland, Ohio are going to be missing this trophy as it resides out here in Minnesota for at least a year, probably more, because, you know, people in Cleveland, they're not used to trophies, so I had to go ahead and take that from them and get it out of that state. So, 
you're welcome, but thanks, man. And then this is not a trophy. This is my cool alien statue, which I'm using to represent the trophy for another league I was in. So this league was for a plant that the company I work for owns, that not actually the one I work at, but a different plant pretty close to us that they invited me into their league this year, and I went and won their championship. So they conveniently have to repair the trophy. It's broken. Yeah, okay, I understand. You don't want me to have your trophy and not be able to uh, display it up your way. So I'd be, I'd be kind of mad too if my work trophy ended up somewhere else besides in my plant. But uh, guess what? I still want that trophy. I'm still going to display it here. And I'm planning on winning it multiple years in a row. So you guys never get that back up your way. And uh, those guys, they were hating on me. They were considering kicking me out of the league. But I was nice enough to take some of my league winnings and threw them a little party at a local brewery. Bought them all some drinks. We had a good time. So I guess I'm back in the league, but I still need that trophy. I want to display it here, so I'm looking forward to it. But this is a look at my fantasy football collection. Uh, I'm big into it. I do a lot of research come fantasy football time. Plan on doing it again uh, this upcoming season. And I'm going to throw some fantasy football advice out on an occasional blog here. And if for some reason you are interested in my advice, I, I can answer questions. But I I'll work on that come football season next year. But thanks for watching. I plan on trying to throw a little bit footage or pictures from the party tonight onto this at the end my boys aren't uh, exactly camera friendly so we'll see how that works out for me but i'm hoping to get you a couple shots but thanks for watching and oh yeah check out the trophies later So we randomly drew people for the dunk contest. I drew Bridges. He just killed it on a dunk. Unfortunately, his first round was 33. So I need this guy to miss his dunk so I can make some money here. So. Sure, I just lost my money. I'm out. Yo, what up? We got a championship here. I am the champion. I got my we'll call him co-champion up in the Monticello League here because uh, my man got second against me. But it, the most important part was that PI won and got second in the Monticello League. But tonight we're celebrating Prairie Islands League. Prairie Islands.